do apologize for my late entry into this, but I am a day ahead of the deadline, and I hope you will forgive me for my laziness. Now, I am Edward Slay666, and I have been a fan of yours for some time, and I saw that you're looking for voice actors. I never voice acted in my life, and I want to see if I have what it takes to basically do it. Now, I'm not familiar on how this process works, so I'm just shooting a bunch of things out there for you to sample. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. And just to give you a heads up, I'm going to be starting college in the springtime, and I have a, about two months to basically work on the project. So, yeah, that's it. That's all. Oh, and P.S. If anybody else is looking for a voice actor of my quality, I am free and available. So, give me a ring-a-ding-ding. Is it gonna hurt you? I'm being honest with you. No, shh, shh, shh. What? You afraid of a little pain? It's not that bad. It's just a piece of metal that's been ground to a sharp edge. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't hear you. Are you saying please do it? Uh, I'm going to take that as a yes. So, um, you might want to close your eyes if you could, but mm, have a little taped up. So, um, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> oh, come on now, Jolly. You're supposed to be Jolly. Come on, can you not see the enjoyment in our work here? We are virtually just massacring people for the fun of it. Come on, you cannot tell me that doesn't bring a rush to you. It doesn't get you down in the, ooh, the grapefruits. Yeah! Just, oh, as soon as I see the blonde, I'm just like, ooh, oh, I'm getting hot just thinking of it. Come on, let's go. All right. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. Now, we better get on the move. Before the cops arrive, because I think they may be on to us. Don't ask me how, because I just have a suspicion. Call me paranoid, but something's not right about this one. We gotta go. <sighs> Jolly. That jackass in a box. When I find him, I'm going to put him in a wood chipper. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in this place. I wouldn't be stuck behind these steel doors, wasting my days away. I'll be outside, doing what I do best. But that little son of a bitch had to screw everything up. Uh, we had a good thing going. It was perfect. But then he had to open his mouth and all hell came down on me. I won't forgive him for that, and I will find him. 
Oh, bad luck, friend. You know, this reminds me of the story of the frog and the scorpion. The frog was going to go across the river, and the scorpion wanted to get across as well. So the scorpion asked the frog if he could bum a lift. And the uh, frog said, no, you're a scorpion and you will sting me. And the uh, scorpion replied, no, I won't sting you, I promise. And the frog responded in kind, um, okay. And then the scorpion walked over to the frog and the frog grabbed it by the tail and stuck its head under the water and drowned it to death. Not 100% on how this relates to what's going on now, but it relates somehow. So, let's get to work. This is the police! Come out with your hands up! This is the police! Hands up! Now! This is the police! Come out! Now! This is the police! Citizen! Exit the vehicle! Turn off the ignition! <laughs> oh, um, hi, um, I'm, uh, I'm looking for something for my daughter. Would you have anything? Just anything, like, an old antique doll would be nice. Um, I'm not too picky, you know, in particular about it. I'm just trying to find something nice for her. Just to show her my affection and my love for her and all that. So, um, do you, do you have anything like that? Honey, this is the police doll I could find. I look everywhere, and this is the doll that... <laughs> I just... I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Been all over the place. I can't find anything besides this one, and I can't reach it now. The store is closed, and please. I'm sorry. Hello, once more. This is Edward Slife. I wish to thank you for letting me audition for your characters, and I would like to state as well that I did not stick faithfully to the script as you would have noted, and I do apologize for that. Like I stated, I am new to voice acting, and I've never voice acted before, ever. So, please show some mercy, and I can completely understand if you are offended in any shape, way, or form of the variation of your script. And, yes. So, here we are. Well, thank you for letting me audition.